So very people of the universe, I have debated making this video because, well, this is a very interesting but also a kind of sensitive topic. I want to talk today about people like uh, Just Minx and Britney Spears and uh, McCorkin, the, the actor from uh, Home Alone. There's these child stars and these people that get famous at a way too young of an age and get ruined. Examples of this is like Miley Cyrus as well. What ends up happening is that these people become hypersexualized. They become, they crave attention, they crave love. They usually lack the guidance that they need to be an influencer or be a public figure in their younger years, which leads to a whole host of mental issues. For example, Britney Spears recently, and I have thought about like showing the video here, but I've decided to not show any content that contains anyone else in this video. I don't want them to be looking back at this video someday if this video does gain traction and feel like they can't escape their past. Not necessarily defending their actions, but get some kind of understanding. So Britney Spears recently uploaded a video to Twitter where she was dancing slightly weirdly, barely wearing anything, and her face is all messed up, and it's kind of like she's on something, or she's drunk, or something like that, we don't really know, but it, it's obvious that she wasn't in a healthy state of mind. And she has been known to have actual health problems, uh, mental health problems as well. Now the story about Britney Spears is really sad, because she was really abused by basically everyone in her life. It's, it's like the classical, like, Marilyn Monroe situation, where someone becomes kind of like a sex symbol, and they kind of go along with it because they don't know any better, but they end up feeling miserable. There's a lot of things that people don't realize about getting famous, which is, you know, there's the obvious things like, oh yeah, you have a big audience, so you're influencing other people. But also, you start to kind of develop this craving, right? You see the numbers, you constantly want the numbers. And for example, with Just Minx, uh, she really, she actually stated this herself, that she really loved watching that climb up. Now, Just, just Minx, being a slightly attractive female, overall, according to most of the internet, at least. She can use her body a little bit, but a lot of what made her popular wasn't even her body at first. But nowadays it's one of the main points. It kind of goes to show you like how things progress. I think Just Minx is like the perfect example to take. She was 12 years old when she got popular with a video. Which means that she she, wrote, she she made a video when she was 12 years old, it exploded, and suddenly she felt this craving. You know, you get this reward system. You know, we, we get taught from a young age that points, higher points are rewards. We get taught that in schools, in video games, and all over. You know, it's not just any of those, by the way, that's a problem. I'm just saying I'm not blaming, like, video games or schools or whatever, but... I am saying that like that is the way our society is built. So once we acknowledge that, we should also be able to acknowledge what that means, which is that we're constantly searching for the next big rush. She took up drinking, uh, and uh, I don't think anyone really guided her into how to do it in equal measures. I think she really got loose, and you know, when you're that young and you become that popular and that rich, you kind of get ruined quickly. And if, if you saw my other video called Trauma, I think that's a very good video to watch as a pretext to this. Because in that video I describe how ab abused people tend to become abusive. Now, she may not have been abused in the sense that she was literally abused by someone. But I think the collective is abusive to younger people in the sense that Society has a lot of different ideas, and it's a made up of a whole bunch of people with different ways of thinking. But I think people as a collective are abusive to themselves and each other. Why that is the case? I think it's because in the end everyone is self-serving. I think that's the, the truth that we must accept. I think a lot of people do do things because it makes them feel better. Even doing good things for other people is usually because they feel better doing it or they feel like it's the right thing or sometimes because they fear punishment from some god or something. It's very rare to meet genuinely good people 
because it's very hard to distinguish when someone's genuinely good or not. So that makes it nearly impossible to be good. But it also means that by the same prospect, I don't think there's like a very like evil set of being. I don't believe that people are evil or can be evil. I do believe that people can be extremely misguided and do horrible things because of it. I do think that people can do things that are unforgivable. But I don't think that makes them evil. I think that just makes them human. Because it's so easy to make someone an antagonist and turn them into a monster. But the truth is that they're human and then we can take accountability for being human ourselves. How many bad days are we away from being the people we hate today? That's, by the way, a quote from one of my songs called um, Alive. It's on my album Ethereal, I think. No, wait, it's on my album Alive? I don't know. Um, I'll, I'll try to link it in the description. But I have a request to you, and I want you to just keep this in mind whenever you see people criticizing uh, these people. And, you know, some of them try to get help and fail, like, for years. But it's really hard for these people, right? Because their entire personality was built on these issues, basically. You need to have, to have such an incredible amount of patience. And it's not other people's jobs, that's true. It's not technically your job. But I think if we could all just be a little kinder to each other and just show each other a little bit more forgiveness and also not ruin every child star we see, that would be great. In fact, I think we should not have any child stars at all. I think maybe like using a child as like uh, an actor should be okay, but it needs to happen in a safe environment and they need to have the guidance. I think there need to be more regulations for it. Because the same thing happened to the uh, McCalkin situation from Home Alone. He was the little blonde kid uh, from Home Alone 3, I think. Um, and basically what ended up happening is that he he ended up with like a drug addiction and it got really bad at one point. And there had to be an intervention. Now, I know he's doing better nowadays, which is great, and I hope that Just Minx is also going to do better. Because I think in the end, like, whilst they've done some terrible things, I don't think they've done anything that's, like, um, unforgivable that can be proven in a court of law right now. I think there are some allegations going around about other things involving minors, but I feel like until that's, like, a court case, we need to be very careful. Because it's very easy to get your facts wrong. And even if they admit it themselves, like, it's very clear these people become unstable. And maybe they do anything to stay relevant. There have been cases where people have literally lied and said that they did horrible things online that they didn't do. Simply for the sake of having more clout, as people call it nowadays, which is such a weird word. Well, if you want clout, it's going to start raining. That was the worst joke ever. I'm sorry. I'm a dad. I make dad jokes. Okay, my daughter likes my dad jokes, so it's fine. The trauma goblin reaches all of us in the end. And he does his little trauma goblin dance and dances all over us. I think it's just that with some people, it leaves them on the ground. And every time they try to get up, they try to push other da others down in order to get back up again. And I think using alcohol as a crutch to get up isn't the solution either. Using drugs isn't the solution either, obviously. But these people really do need sympathy and help. They need actual help. But like I said, it's better to be preventative. So please stop. Now thank you for watching. Subscribe, leave a like, and leave down in the comments what you think about the situation. Also watch these two videos, or well, three videos, one of these three videos. One's on my other channel, which is probably going to be an interesting little funny compilation. And the other one is going to be about Pokimane, and the other one is going to be about YouTuber apologies. Now if you want to see the trauma video, it's going to be linked in the description. Goodbye.